Okay, in this video I want to show you the connection path to do an Ethernet SIP table data read uh, from this PLC, which is in slot one of this backplane. It's a Control Logics L61, but um, it does not have Ethernet. It uses an ENBT card like the old style do. Some of the newer ones like the L80 threes they have ethernet in the controller themselves they don't need an enbt type card and an ethernet adapter however this one does so i'm going to show you how to do a read into here from here in this video okay so we are in the compact logics and we have a message instruction set up and i have a timer running when it's done timing, I execute the message, and then the next rung, because it is done, so it's not timing anymore because it's done, the next uh, line will be a done bit, resetting the message instruction. Uh, the message tag is getting reset, which starts at timing again and issues the message again. So you'll see how that works in just a minute, but I think what most people are probably here for is the path for a compact to get to to get out on ethernet you use a two okay this two right here in a compact you use two comma and that says unless it's an l43 or one that has an ethernet adapter if it has an onboard adapter on the plc two is how you get out ethernet comma is a delimiter and then here's my target you can see I'm at 8.11 and I'm going after 8.111 so another PLC in this case because it is a control logics an L61 that does not have onboard Ethernet I'm actually at the IP address of the ENBT card that's in the control logics rack so that's the IP address of the Ethernet card in that case, I need to tell that Ethernet card to look at your local backplane, which is the one, and then slot one. And that's because this is slot one, not slot zero, which is where most people put their PLCs. I just happen to have two PLCs in this rack, and I want to talk to the second one, which is in slot one. All right? So, you can see this message is completing. You're getting the done bit. What I'm going to do and I'm reading a UDT called test1, which contains a dint and a, and a string. So double integer and a string, and it's one element deep. It's not an array. I'm going to change this to look at the other uh, control logics PLC. And as you can see, we've errored out. We've errored out for a syntax error. The reason is there is no tag. The error code is not very helpful if you were to look it up. It just basically says syntax error. So let's go back to the right PLC, and you'll see that it starts to work again. Now, you can see here I've got my local tags showing what their value is. I want to take you over <clears throat> to the source PLC right here, and then we're going to type in some different values. So this integer we're going to change to 88. Uh, 880 there and then the string will change to a b c d e f now let's go back and look at our receiving and you can see we've already read in the new in the new uh, information it's important that whatever tag you're reading you have the exact same data type that you're receiving it into and that goes for UDTs as well. It's, that is everything that I wanted to show you in this one. Anything else you'd like to see, let me know.